my YouTube family. It's me, Kimmy Boutique here, and welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you guys again. Oh, big hugs. Oh, <laughs> so I have a closure in, and I have a U part wig sewn in with it. I don't remember how many inches it is, guys. This hair was in my drawer for such a long time. I know it's Peruvian version hair. The closure might be Peruvian also. Uh, my hair is very, very boutique -y, as you can tell. Okay. Um, that's my word for everything fabulous, everything fun, exciting, loving, sexy. boutique -y just means good things. Okay. Like, you're, you're looking good, you're looking boutique -y today. Okay. You're feeling good, you feel boutique -y today. Or oh, you're going to pick out an outfit, make sure you pick out a boutique -y one if you're going somewhere special. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned to see my updates with my new makeup looks and my different hair and of course my natural hair updates. I do a lot of those. I really am enjoying making these videos for you guys and I hope you're liking it. Okay, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so my hair is clean and dried with a blow dryer and stretched out for easier braiding. And here's my braid pattern. I definitely like it nice and flat on the top for the closure. And here you see how I connect the loose braids so that I don't have a lot of loose braids. As you can see, I only have two, which I don't sew down because it's easier for me to find when it's time to take it down. Oh wait, dance break, Lady Gaga. <laughs> okay, so this is my clo my lace closure with the elastic band around it. They call it the elastic band method. Just position it where you want it. And now I'm just going to sew down one side. And I'm just looping the thread around the needle to make the stitch a little bit more secure. And you do just that one side and then you do the other. And I save the back for last as you will see. I hope you guys are getting a good view of the stitch I'm making and where I am making the stitch on the closure and how I'm attaching it to the braid. And here I am making a stitch in the back just to show you what it looks like. Guys, the needle was so oily from all the oil I put on my hair, my hand kept slipping off the needle. So here's my U part rig that I made, gorgeous, with my Peruvian virgin body wave hair. Now I'm just cutting out the ex excess cap. And of course be careful of getting too close to your stitching of that last row of hair. Otherwise that, that top row will become loose throughout the wearing of your unit. Oh, I hate those baby hairs on these closures. Like, why? They're, it's like six inches long. It's so stupid. Anyway, the u part wig is gorgeous. Then you just measure it and uh, you start sewing it down. Again, I work from one side to the other, as you will see. And I only stitch the u part wig to the closure in the braid on the sides, not in the back. The back I just stitched the U part wig to my braid because I find if you stitch if you sew on the U part wig to the back of the closure, it kinda weighs pull puts weight on the closure and kinda pulls it back. And then 
I think accidentally I might have did it a little bit because I've noticed that my closure was pulling back a little bit. But, you know, definitely when I'm doing a client, that's not a problem. But when you're doing it yourself, these things tend to happen when you can't see the back of your head. <laughs> so. But I'm wearing my hair forward, so you won't even see that the closure is pulling back. Anyway, so I just find I go inside the cap one weft because I, I sew my weft around the perimeter of the cap before I start sewing back and forth. So basically, I find that weft, weft and I separate it from the rest of the, the wig and I sew that onto my braid. So I'm sewing like a, a quarter of an inch or less into the wig instead of right on the edge of the wig. I find that this helps with the wind blowing and just seeing hair. That's what you want. You don't really want to see your braid. But no biggie. As long as it just lays nicely. So this cap comes with two elastic adjustable bends in the back. And I'm just uh, tightening it. As you can see, my head is small. So I'm definitely trying to get that snug fit. And they're kind of long. So I'm just going to give a, a double tie. Not really a knot, but because you want to be able to get it out when you're ready to take it down. But something just to secure it so it's not all dangly in the hair. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and see you in the next video.